In this short video, I'm going to talk about um, georeferencing Revit files and getting them to come into ArcGIS properly. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to know what the coordinates are. And in Revit, there's a um, coordinate um, survey point that you can define. And we want to make sure that that is a real world coordinate. Later on, we're going to need to know what coordinate system that is. I've installed the um, free um, safe software Revit exporter. And I'm going to um, specify um, a couple of parameters. Um, in this case, I'm going to select this GSA profile that gives me a good amount of mix of attributes as well as um, 3D features. I'm going to specify the name of the output file, which is going to be essentially an organized IFC file that later on I'm going to use the data um, interoperability extension of ArcGIS to pull into a geo database. So this process actually can take up to an hour. I, mean, I think this, this, this particular um, uh, model takes about 20 minutes um, to an hour because it's really dense, but I've condensed that time here in this video. Um, once that's um, been completed, then I use the data interoperability extension here. I'm accessing it um, in ArcMap um, to pull in that exported file from Revit. It has an RVZ extension. I select the Revit importer um, and then I select the file that was created and I'm going to push that to a geo database. And this is the point that's really important. I need to specify what coordinate system was used for that survey point um, so that um, when the GIS features are created they will be located properly. Um, this process um, of converting the data can also take some time that I've also condensed here in the video. Next, um, because the work has already been done, I'm switching over here to ArcGIS Pro just so I can take a look at it here in 3D. And so um, when I do that, um, it's already a geodatabase um, in 3D, so I open up a 3D scene here in ArcGIS Pro and I can just add the data. And so this is just going to be geodatabase features, a uh, collection of 2D and 3D um, features. And so I can pull that in um, by just simply selecting what I want. And that will appear in the proper location. I can zoom to that location. I've also gone ahead and organized the multi-patch feature classes into groups so that I can control the visibility on and off. So inside that exterior and interior um, groupings on the table of contents, there's a bunch of different multi-patch feature classes for things like furniture and plumbing and um, structures. I've also taken the liberty of um, changing the um, transparency on some of these feature classes so I can do things like see through the walls um, and the windows um, so you can get a better idea of the, of the density and the um, level of detail in this particular model. So just to review, um, I needed in, um, to, to get it to be georeferenced. Um, I want to know what you know the coordinates of the Revit model are, and I do that by specifying a survey point inside of Revit. And then I need to know what coordinate system that's defined in, so that when I'm using the data interoperability extension, I can specify that coordinate system, and then everything could, should um, line up here nicely. Thanks.